Okay, uh, three quarters of an inch equals uh, 24 on this particular ruler. But you need to make sure that it's actually from the top of the float to where the gasket fits on the carburetor itself. So um, let me go ahead and I'll show you how to put the gasket on. This one here is correct. Okay, this is what it looks like here from the bottom. You have your pin, make sure that the seat is in there good, make sure you have your gasket on the seat, and make sure that your pin is, is through the float on both sides. Make sure all the ports are clean, make sure that nothing is, no objects or anything inside the bowl. And when you put this, this is your, your bowl of your carburetor on the middle carburetor. And how you can tell it's the middle carburetor is that it has this right here, which is your fuel inlet. And what you do here, this is your gasket. Gasket goes like this. This hole right here cannot be covered up because gas flows through that hole right there too. So put your gasket on just like this. And your bowl fits on top of that, like this. Oh, I made a mistake. See, that's why you got to check my check your work. They have this right here, which is this here fits on the center. like this that actually keeps the center of the bowl from leaking so once you have all that you put your bowl on the carburetor like this Make sure your gasket is correct. Then you start putting your screws in. Like this. Don't tighten them up yet because you don't want to tighten one and not have the other ones tighten. You just kind of just um, put them in there by hand first to make sure that gasket is correct before you start tightening them down. While I have this apart, I'll show you. This right here is considered your cam roller. If that cam roller, this one here is still good, so I'm not replacing it, but this cam roller here, uh, it will cause a lot of problems with it uh, 
not advancing the timing when it's supposed to. So if you have any bad flat spots or if it's wore down really, really bad, I would suggest changing it. They're about $3. Um, so that's a good thing. You can try to clean it first and see. But um, that's a big problem right there, and it's really cheap to, uh, to change. The, the carburetor kits are around $12 a piece. So let me go ahead and finish getting these screws in. Now that the screws are all tight, you need to make sure that the, that the gasket's on there properly. Okay. Then you got this. You got your. This is your drain plug for your bowl. This is the screw that goes in it. Then you have a little washer that goes around it. If you ever have bad gas in it or whatever, you can drain these while the carburetors still on the the motor you tighten that up tighten that up snug I'm not going to do it right now for time's sake but uh, you do that one and then this right here is what you call th this is your your um, high speed jet you pull this out and on the inside of that they have a jet I'll, I'll take it back out So you can see I don't know if you can if we can show you down in there but actually there's a jet down in there and um, really small openings that's where your high-speed jets located and you can adjust those but they're very hard to do whenever you have three carburetors on it so I suggest not messing with them but uh, this right here is what you call your low speed jet down inside of there. And this is your your set screw for it. It has a washer on it too. Make sure that the screw is is, is in really good shape. Make sure it, it don't have any dirt or anything in it whenever you put it back in. Because that's going to be down down into the carburetor here. So what you do, you just you just tighten it down snug and I won't tighten it all the way down right now for for that uh, these right here go for your um, I mean I didn't change these out because they're still good I cleaned them up the best I could um, you put these back on here one goes here and then one go goes on your choke which is if I can find it no I'm sorry one goes here and one goes here they both go in the same place on this because this is the middle carburetor it's going to have both linkages going to it so I just wanted to show you that so let me go ahead and put those on 